Fans, at this time, we'd like to recognize the senior members of our cheerleading and dance teams, as well as the basketball band. Throughout their four-year careers, they have performed at nearly 150 events here at Hinkle. First up, Butler cheerleading. Kaylee Dickerson is the daughter of Randy and Heather Dickerson of Carmel. This is her first year on the cheer team as she works toward her master's in school counseling. Kaylee Dickerson. Levi Elliott is a four-year cheerleader, majoring in critical communications and media studies. He's the son of Lynn and Lisa Elliott of Scottsburg, Indiana. Levi Elliott. Savannah Mathers is a healthcare and business major from Marblehead, Massachusetts. She is the daughter of Tom and Michelle Mathers and has been on the cheer team for four years. Savannah Mathers. Bailey Osler is a four-year cheerleader from Fishers, Indiana. The elementary education major is the daughter of Jeff and Dana Olser. Casey Ramsey is a four-year cheerleader from Indianapolis. The marketing major is the daughter of Tony and Tammy Ramsey and Emory and Michelle Dow. Danielle Rogers is a strategic communications major and four-year member of the cheer team. She is the daughter of David and, David and Diane Rogers of Columbus, Indiana. Butler cheerleading. And now let's meet the senior members of the Butler University dance team. Caroline Laufman is an economics major from Glen Ellen, Illinois. She is the daughter of Dan and Julie Laufman and has been a member of BUDT for four years. Another four-year member of BUDT, Emma Sporher, is an elementary education major from Wheaton, Illinois. She is the daughter of Scott and Alyssa Sporher. Emily Hasek is a four-year member of the dance team and double major in biology and Spanish. She is the daughter of Michelle and Mary Hasek of Wanakee, Wisconsin. Michael and Mary Hasek of Wanakee, Wisconsin. Lauren Bailey is an elementary education major from Bedford, Indiana. She is the daughter of Damon and Stacy Bailey and has been a member of the dance team for three years. Julia Lovig is a three-year member of the dance team and a pharmacy major from Bloomington, Indiana. She is the daughter of Dan and Lorraine Lovig. Madison Stone is a pharmacy major from Avon, Indiana. She is the daughter of Marcia Stone and has been a member of the dance team for four years. Now let's meet the senior members of the Butler University Basketball Band. Shelby Bentley is a double major in International Studies and Web Design and Development. She is the daughter of Bruce and Luann Bentley of Shelbyville, Indiana. Anna Bradbury is a double major in Middle Secondary Education and Literature. She is the daughter of Neil and Donna Bradbury of Lyndhurst, Illinois. Colton Drevis is the son of Ed and Liz Drevis of Champaign, Illinois. He is minoring in sociology with a specialization in social work. Talia Green is a statistics and actuarial science major from Crown Point, Indiana. She is the daughter of Chris and Jennifer Green. Ben Kessler is a health science major from Algonquin, Illinois. He is the son of Jeff and Diane Kessler. Butler Basketball Band. Also, Alexis Ale Alex Kenstedt is a double major in chemistry and biomedical engineering. He is the son of Paul and Chris Kenstedt of Westfield, Indiana. Spencer Lybrook is a biology and environmental sciences major from Cicero, Indiana. He is the son of Dave and Ann Lybrook. Leon Martin is the son of Tim and Vicki Martin of St. Louis, Missouri. He is majoring in management, information systems, finance, and computer science. John Plate is a music performance major from Wheaton, Illinois. He is the son of John and Cindy Plate. Carly Reardon is an arts administration major from Westfield, Indiana. She is the daughter of Phil and Marcia Reardon. Reagan Rimbelski is the daughter of Susan Rebelski of Pendleton, Indiana. She is majoring in arts administration with a concentration in music. Casey Sobex is a native of North Royalton, Ohio, majoring in physics and electrical engineering. 
Alex Stark is a chemistry major from Bloomington, Indiana. He is joined today by Matt and Cindy Stark. And Maddie Thomas is the daughter of Carolyn and Stephen Thomas of Cincinnati, Ohio. She is majoring in human communications and organizational leadership. Let's have a round of applause for your 2020 cheerleading dance team and basketball band senior class. be a bulldog it means everything. Butler was always a place I loved and always a place I wanted to go to. As soon as I got here I felt like it was home. My senior day a lot of emotions would probably be filled up that day. All the people you met when you came in as a freshman and didn't know anything you know all those things kind of formulate into one day. This group has been one of the best I've been around in terms of growing in their leadership. That's one thing about the basketball project is so fun is making it to the uh, NCAA tournament year in and year out. Last year, not hearing our names called in, um, in the selection show, it was pretty hard. We took it on the chin and came together and said, we're not doing that again. The whole team used it as fuel. We were very motivated once we lost the last game last season. We went right to work like a week later. Come to a shared vision. This is what we believe we can do together. Just owning every single part of the program. From the time we finished up last year to this very day, there's just been such a collective ownership and a hunger to grow as leaders. They know it has never been about them other than just winning as much as possible for Butler. Henry Bradley and I honestly did everything together. Just talking about life and you know our journeys to, to being here at Butler together. Behind the scenes, he's awesome. Teammates love him. You know, he's kind of the guy that makes everybody laugh. He's a big jokester. He's one of those guys that always have a smile on your face when you're around. He's completely bought into his role, whether it's playing 10 minutes or whether it's playing 35 and having to make huge shots at the end of games. He does whatever the coaches ask him to. And having that type of humility as a teammate, you earn respect that way. I love the role that I'm in uh, just because I know I'm a leader. I, mean, I need to be that example for other young guys looking up to me for one of their seniors and they're having freshmen look up to them. So I just want to be a great example for them and just always be there for my teammates. Derek grew up around Butler. He knew what Butler was about, knew he was a fit in terms of the Butler way. The opportunity opened up when he said that he was transferring to kind of reach out and say like, hey, come do something special with us here at Butler. And, and he bought in pretty quickly. To see a guy transfer in and find his voice really quickly. It was from day one. He was coaching, you know, other guys on what he knew. He's played college basketball for four years. I've been in a lot of a lot of college games, so it's a lot picking up from that. But then obviously it's a lot from my dad. I learned pretty much everything I know from him. So it's huge to have someone like that in your life that can help you, but I'm trying to pass it down to other people. 
better people make better players. Kamara, he's one of the best people you could be around. Just yes sir, no sir, uh, is so talented. You know, his roles change from a complimentary guy as a freshman, but he still hit big shots and he had this it factor that everybody fell in love with. And then he grew into, you know, being the guy that every scouting report's focused on first, that's an entirely different role and he, he loves the challenge um, and he's always stepped up to challenges. He's Kamar Baldwin, that's what he does, hit those step back jumpers. Player with him, obviously he's a special player. He's just very down to earth. You wouldn't be able to tell if he's the 15th man on the roster or the first. Four years being roommates, yeah, that's my brother. Uh, I know I'll be able to call him five years from now and be able to talk to him. I'm talking to him now and have that same relationship. We'll be brothers for life. He'll go down as one of the all-time greats. The personal things like that uh, are great, but for me it's just trying to win as many games as possible. Sean, he works extremely hard. He goes 100 miles an hour in terms of his work ethic at all times. When he's on the court, it's all serious. Honestly, every time he shoots it, I'm thinking it's going in. <laughs> I always think it's going in regardless. It's amazing to have teammates that have the level of confidence in you that they do in me, and it makes the game a lot easier for me. And Sean's really taken on that role as a leader and a coach on the court. He's been around coaches all his life. He's got a family full of them. My grandpa was uh, one heck of a coach. He helped me through my basketball process so much um, from a young age. He had me, my cousin, my brother all out there working out. And I think that's kind of where I got my identity in the game. It's been really cool to have my family around. My dad always, before every game, just go up to him, kind of dap him up. And, and he reminds me that he loves me and that he's proud of me. And even when my mom's sick, she's coming in here with a mask on just to watch me play. She had to battle cancer and her fight was so courageous. And, and the way people reached out and tried to help her through prayer, just kind words meant so much to me. Not gonna have my grandpa here, which, which will hit home pretty hard, but uh, it'll just be amazing to have everybody around. One thing that's so special about this place is our fan base um, and the way that they love the game. After a win, we go around and shake hands with the student section. They just create the atmosphere. Having that energy gives us confidence and be able to play at our highest level. And uh, we just really appreciate it and um, just thank them. Hopefully 10 years from now, people will just be able to look back and point to me as somebody that loved and cared deeply about people. And I think that's the same way with Kamar, Henry, and Derek. I want them to remember me as a guy that I would do anything for, uh, for Butler um, on and off the court. This community, all the friends I've made, and just being able to spend time with other people and get to know them and their stories, uh, it's, been, it's been really great. With us four, this is it, so our focus is on winning and winning only. We're playing for something bigger than ourselves right now. It's a big opportunity. It's why I came here. I thought we could do something special when we came March time. The sky's the limit. I mean, we can go as far as we, we want. If we stay together, we'll be able to go really far in the tournament, I believe. The teammates owe it to them. Us as a staff, we owe it to them. They'll get the best that we have so that they've got a special finish here down the stretch. At this time, Butler Basketball would like to recognize our six senior managers and student athletes. First up are two senior managers. These individuals have spent countless hours assisting the team and coaching staff both at practices and at games throughout their collegiate careers. Justin Kurtz is a finance major from Brownsburg, Indiana. He has served as a team manager for three seasons. After graduation, Justin hopes to find a position in finance or sales. He is joined tonight on the court by his brother Tyler, mother Angela, and father Andrew. Matthew Mace is a marketing major from Brownsburg, Indiana. He has served as team manager for four seasons. After graduation, he plans to stay in Indianapolis while continuing to stay involved with basketball through coaching high school. Matthew is joined tonight by his sister, Sarah, and parents, Dave and Amy Mace. And now our student athletes. Derek Smith is a master's in business administration student out of Zionsville, Indiana. Smits was the leading scorer and rebounder for Valparaiso before joining the Bulldogs for the 2019-20 season as a graduate transfer. While battling injuries, Smits has played in 15 games for the Dogs, averaging 3.3 points and two rebounds per contest. He scored a season-high 16 points against Louisiana Monroe on December 28th. Escorted by his father Rick, stepmother Donna, sister Jasmine Smits, and girlfriend Felicia Stearns, ladies and gentlemen, Derek Smits.
Henry Badley is a marketing major out of Wadsworth, Ohio. Badley has appeared in 115 games throughout his four-year career, averaging 15 minutes per contest. Over his four years, he has grabbed 161 rebounds and has scored 384 points, including a career high of 20 in a 2017 victory over Western Illinois. He has provided a key spark off the bench this season, including leading the team in scoring with 13 at Creighton. Escorted by his parents, Henry Badley and Sharman Springfield, ladies and gentlemen, Henry Badley. Sean McDermott he is a human movement and health sciences education major out of Anderson, Indiana. McDermott joined the Bulldogs in 2015, redshirting his freshman year. He has appeared in 124 games for the Dogs, including 78 as a starter. This season, McDermott is averaging 11.8 points a game and six rebounds a game while leading the team in both free throw and three point field goal percentage. He has scored more than 20 points in a game seven times as a Bulldog, including a career high 27 as a junior against Marquette. Escorted by his parents, Mike and Kim McDermott, grandmother Diana Darner, fiance Kennedy Amon, ladies and gentlemen, Sean McDermott. Kamar Baldwin is a music industry studies major out of Winder, Georgia. This season, Baldwin leads the Dogs in scoring at 15.7 points per game while also averaging 4.6 rebounds and 3.3 assists. He has appeared in 132 games as a Bulldog, including 121 starts. His 196 career steals are good for third on the all-time list at Butler, and his 1,906 total points puts him sixth on Butler's career list. He has earned Big East All-Freshman recognition as well as pre- and post-season All-League honors. He was named to the NABCA All-District Team as a junior and is one of 30 named to the mid-season list for the Naismith Trophy and one of five finalists for the Jerry West Award. <laughs> Escorted by his father and stepmother, Greg and Brenda Baldwin, and his mother and stepfather, Kay and Jamie Holloway, ladies and gentlemen, Kamar Baldwin. Uh, am I on? I'm going to look this way, so that way. If I look that way, I might not make it through this whole thing. Um, so first, I want to um, just thank all of, you, all of you right, for your support each and every year, our fans. Um, big reason why these guys come, came here, others will come here, uh, is because Hinkle Field House is filled up uh, and you guys bring the support. So I want to thank you for that. Uh, thank our game, uh, our game day, uh, game ops crew and our facilities crew that make this place, uh, what it is on game day, and do all the work and hard work to set up and break down uh, each and every time we get out here uh, and get to do what we do. And I want to thank our students, uh, our students, all of our students, and our dog pound. Right, round of applause. Uh, it, it's been amazing this year from the lines outside pre-game that start I don't know how long before the game to the noise inside uh, you guys have been tremendous uh, all season long uh, so and we appreciate you I uh, want to wish our senior graduating senior students uh, a round of applause for all of our graduating senior students and wish them the best uh, our two senior managers uh, Justin and Mace, uh, it's funny because we get to watch these guys grow up just like our student athletes. And so just want to thank uh, you guys and your families. You've raised uh, amazing young men. And uh, there's an unwavering commitment um, to do all of the dirty work from these guys for the last four years. And they've been great uh, behind the scenes. Uh, so just we appreciate you know, everything you've done for Butler basketball. Uh, 
Um, now this this group, and I'll, I'll try to go quick. Derek and Henry, um, Shawnee and, and Kamar. Uh, first, I'd like to thank their families, right, and parents. It's it's we talk fit all the time in recruiting and who fits here and how that looks and um, most of it is how they were raised and, and you know when you're in the conversation if they fit uh, or don't fit um, and these guys have been raised the right way to value what's truly important uh, in life now, obviously you know they've been encouraged to do what they do athletically uh, but they've been raised right and raised well uh, which is why this it, it was an attraction uh, to, for them to end up here so we appreciate you know, all the parents and, and the families Quickly, I, and it was mentioned in the video, I think of this group, I think of three things, love, care, and sacrifice. Uh, it's like they, you know, they've got a special love. They love, uh, and they love pretty hard. Uh, two of them are already, know who they're going to marry after this. So to the other two, I'm not going to put any pressure on, but, uh, but they, uh, they're a group that loves their teammates. Um, they love the game, and they love Butler. Uh, immediately, yeah. so immediately, I get the job. I'm in the press conference on a Wednesday. We're in Kamar Baldwin's living room down in Winder, Georgia, which I've, I've never been to Winder, so it was great to see Winder um, in his living room on Thursday. And it was any one of you, 91, 9200, could have probably been a coach, and he was going to stay at Butler. Uh, he loved it that much, and Jamie, his stepfather, was saying, you know, afterwards, weeks later, I coach. He says, uh, I asked him when the coaching change happened, you know, what do you want to do? He said, what do you mean what do I want to do? He, I'm staying at Butler. I, I, lo I love Butler. <laughs> uh, Derek... Derek's, Derek and his, and his recruitment, a couple conversations in, it was like, hey coach, I've been around Butler, I know Butler, I'm an easy sell, you gotta convince Donna and my dad, like I, I know Butler, I, I've always had a love for Butler, um, now you gotta talk to the other people around me and get them in, but you know, I'm the easy one in, in the recruitment. And so there's been this, uh, this deep love for Butler the entire time. Uh, they care, you know, deeply. Um, not just on a surface level, it's a group that cares from, you know, they care about others, um, they care about doing things the right way. And Sean, you know, get a text from Sean McDermott, we lose a couple games on a Sunday off, and you could be doing a lot of things on a Sunday off, sleeping in, catching up on some homework, and, and get a text that just says, Coach, what can I do to help? What can I do to help my teammates be better? What can I do to help the program be better? What can I do to help get us out of this? Um, you don't do that if you don't care. Henry and I have conversations early in the season. Hey, Hen, your role is going to maybe be a little bit different. And he's immediately looking at me. Like, Coach, I don't care. What, whatever. I just want to be a better leader. I want to help the young guys. I want to help Butler win games. Um, and you see him in a Marquette game, come out and guard Marcus Howard, one of the best scorers in the country, and, like, lock him down. And it's a guy that... Uh, that just he cares about the others you know as the video said Derek was teaching from day one he doesn't even know what we're doing quite yet but he's teaching John Michael on day one trying to get him in the right spots uh, just tells you how he's willing to help other people and and he's crying in my office when he gets an injury because he just wants to be out there with his teammates and he came here and it, it's like you don't know how it's gonna work out but he, all he cares about is being out there fighting with some guys he loves and he couldn't, he couldn't, and he couldn't do it like he wanted to, uh, but he's been tremendous on the bench, continuing to just help other people. And Kamar, Kamar cares. Like you got to be careful what you say to Kamar. It's like he just, he wants to do everything right. I could tell him, hey Kamar, go take 47 trips up the aisleways do 10 cartwheels and then hop on one leg around the track and you'll be a better player. And he's hanging on every word just because he, he just cares about what you say and getting it right and he'd run and do it. 
right now. Um, if he thought you, that's what we needed to do and that's what you wanted him to do and that was the right way to do it. Um, and so you just compliment the group just on their care level uh, as a whole. Side note, so we take a trip to Bradford Woods. We go into this little lake, you know, woods trip. And guys are in the lake swimming. Some guys are playing cornhole. Derek Smith is trying to catch fish with his hands in the shallow end. <laughs> Kamar Baldwin cares so much, he doesn't want to leave him by himself. So he runs over, and he's trying to catch fish with him with his hands. And ironically, Badley and McDermott are in a canoe together, and the canoe flips over. They're the only one that tips, so everybody else is laughing at him. Henry's scared to death, and Kamar is scared to death too, but he just cares about trying to get Hen back to the, to the canoe so he can hang on to the lifeguards come. Um, so there's a deep care level you know, on, a, on a lot of levels. Um, and then sacrifice. Like, whether it's Henry and Derek, you know, as seniors, um, having to take on a different role, not you know, in terms of playing, maybe not as much as, much as they wanted to sometimes, um, but just every time you ask him or talk to him, or I have a conversation, it was, it's all about, coach, it's okay, whatever's best for Butler to win, whatever's gonna help the team, willing to sacrifice for us to be our best, uh, if you think that's the right thing to do, and um, you know, you appreciate that so much. Or uh, Kamar Baldwin sacrificing his time and just watching him grow over the years. It's like he's in here, I don't know how early in the training room, taking care of his body, getting you know, something worked out, or he's in the weight room, or he's in getting up shots, uh, or he's in Emerson Campus' office, and I don't know what they're talking about. Um, and, but the dude like lives in Hinkle, and then he's putting in time with his teammates, going over as a senior over to the dorms to hang out with the freshmen. Um, you know, he just sacrifices his time for his team, uh, or Sean with his, with his body, all 185 pounds of it, what, 191, 195, no way. <laughs> but guarding, guarding, anybody you ask him to guard, whether it's a seven foot, 200 pound guy, or a point guard, just, you know, playing sick, playing hurt, playing through injuries, um, giving everything he has physically, um, and emotionally for his teammates. Um, so there's this, you think about this group, uh, what they've done for the program, you know, that's what's come to mind. And there's a gratefulness, there's a thankfulness um, for their families, for trusting us, uh, their example and their commitment to Butler. Um, so we say thank you uh, before we hand you the mic. I'm proud of each and every one of them. Uh, proud of Derek just handling everything with class. It's like, you know, I told him, hey, I don't know how this is gonna go, but, I'm glad you're here. Uh, and he's handled every minute and every moment uh, just with class and the utmost respect. Uh, Henry Badley's grown and stretched himself uh, to be a better leader. Um, just gotten out of his comfort zone. You know, he's, he can be serious, Henry, now. He's got a lot of jokes. He's got a, a tremendous impression of coach. Uh, but he's, it, we were in Spain on a foreign trip. This is, sorry, I'm going to get on a foreign trip and everybody would challenge him, hey, me and Kamar are eating uh, like octopus together. He's like, hey, I'm in Spain, we're gonna eat octopus. Henry's at McDonald's. It's like, hey, Hench, get outside of, uh, of your box. So he, and he's done that and you've just seen him grow. Um, and Sean, you know, just how he's developed it himself. He's self-made in every way as a leader, um, you know, as a player. He works at it as a, as a Christian growing in his faith and just being so consistent at concentrating on just getting better, however it is. And, and Kamar Baldwin, Mr. Yes Sir, No Sir, just proud of just how he's come out of his shell. Listen to him in interviews now versus when he was young Kamar. Um, however, he's still Kamar, so when he hits the game winner against Villanova and they say, hey, did you think it was going in? Yes, sir. But he's come out of that shell to be able to talk more and lead other people. Uh, and I've challenged this group as much as any I've ever been around or ever coached um, to lead, to hold each other accountable, to hold their teammates accountable. And they've all stepped up and they've owned it. Um, and they keep continue to tell them, it's your program. We'll go as far as you take us. We'll be as good as you want us to be. Uh, but you got to get outside of your comfort zone and do it. Uh, and we're not done yet. Um, but, and they've done a great job with it. So, 
we uh, started to say better, better people make better bulldogs. Right? So if you had to come up with a butler bulldog and what it, what's that look like, it'd probably be somebody that's as thankful as Derek Smith, somebody that's a servant like Henry Badley, somebody that's as passionate as Sean McDermott, and somebody that is as humble as Kamar Baldwin. Like, that's a bulldog. That's what it looks like. Um, so we've, we've challenged them in a lot of ways, and I think, you know, the best is yet to come for us this season, and the best is yet to come for these guys, obviously, as they move on to their next chapter of life at some point, but we're not in a hurry, uh, right? Um, so I'm going to give, uh, give up the mic. No, your dad doesn't get to get the You have to do it. And nobody wants to go first. Right? We're, we're going to Derek, Derek Smith's tallest guy goes first. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you to all the fans. Uh, Y'all have really supported us and myself through all the ups and downs this year, and it's been awesome. Playing here, there's no better, like, there's no better place to play than Hinkle Field House. <laughs> Secondly, I just want to say thank you to Coach and all our coaches for uh, giving me the opportunity to play here. Uh, they took a risk on me coming up, and they've, they've had faith in me all along the way. Um, I want to say thank you to Ralph Reef and MJ for helping me throughout this year. It's obviously been a tough year, but those, those two have helped me in more ways than I could ever thank them for. Um, I want to say thank you to my family, my girlfriend Felicia. She's been supportive throughout everything this past four years, and it's been awesome. Um, always appreciative of you. You do so much for me and more than I could ever thank you for. Uh, my sister's always been there for me, obviously, my stepmom. And then, obviously, my dad has been a huge role model throughout my life. Uh, I wouldn't be the person I am today or the player I am. <laughs> I wouldn't be the person or the player I am today without you. And I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, first, I just want to thank God for everything he's done for me. Uh, without him, this not just be possible. Um, I want to thank the fans, the students, the alumni, everybody that's affiliated with Butler. Uh, I want to thank my, my mom for everything she's done for me, all the traveling through high school, AAU, um, and our college, uh, I want to thank my dad for the same thing. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, that's my guy, I love him to death. He's my biggest critic. Um, without him, I definitely wouldn't be here. Um, everybody knows that's close to me, everything he's done for me, and, uh, how we go at after games, or practice, or whatever. Um, I want to thank my girlfriend, Madison. She didn't, she didn't think I was going to do that, but I did it. That's my girl. <laughs> um, I want to thank, I want to thank my teammates. Those are my brothers, man. And I'm, trying, I'm not trying to get emotional up here, but but yeah, those are my brothers for life. Um, I want to thank all the managers, everything they've done for us. Um, they don't get a lot of credit, and I want to I want to thank each and every last one of them guys for what they do for us. Uh, I want to also thank the academic staff, uh, Sonia, Molly, all the things they've done for me. Uh, all the countless hours on the study table. I definitely wouldn't be here without Sonia. <laughs> um, I, I want to thank the coaches for pushing me to be better, pushing all of us to be better um, as, stu as students, players, uh, in the community, whatever. Um, I think that's it. First of all, I'd just like to say what 
incredible five years it's been inside Hickle Fieldhouse. Um, you guys make this place so special, uh, so special to all of us. Uh, we can't wait for game days in Hinkle. You guys are unbelievable. I think uh, a lot of time God puts blessings in our life that we don't realize until later down the line. Um, and I kind of took advantage of this place the first couple of years. Um, but now as it starts to come to a close um, in the final year, uh, I'm so thankful for, for God blessing me and putting me in this situation. Uh, because my life has forever changed because of it. Uh, I'm beyond thankful for my family. Uh, in my time here, we've been through a lot. But without them, uh, I, I wouldn't be anything at all. Um, I'm so appreciative of them, um, as well as my fiance, Kennedy. Um, in those hard times, she's been my rock and made very tough situations way easier for me. Um, and she makes things a lot easier to handle. Um, it's been great having my grandma here for every game. Um, obviously, I wish my grandpa could be here. But I know he's watched every single game, and I can't wait to see him again one day. <laughs> and then my parents, uh, all the sacrifices they've made throughout my entire life, um, there's, there's no words that I could say to thank them enough. So uh, I'll leave it simple with that. But I, I'm so appreciative, and I love them so much. Um, And then my coaches, my teammates, uh, they make every day so, so unbe unbelievably fun. Um, we have a lot of fun together as a team in the locker room, um, on the court competing against each other. And then when we get to come out here and put it all together, um, it, it, there's no feeling like it to, to play with these guys and these coaches out in Hinkle Fieldhouse. Um, and then to Ralph Reef and MJ, um, again, like Derek said, that they do so much for us that goes unnoticed. Same with the managers. Um, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that don't get recognition that, that they deserve for, for what Butler basketball is. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to them. And then like Coach said, uh, the support staff around Hinkle, whether it's academics, um, cleanup crew, getting the court ready, whatever it may be, setting up cameras. Um, we're so appreciative for them as well because ba Butler basketball wouldn't operate the way it does without them. Um, and again, it's been an incredible five years, but I, I believe that we still have so much yet to accomplish uh, this crew. We'll go finish out the regular season and then uh, we're going to go try and win two championships. First and foremost, I would like to uh, just give honor to God, who is the head of my life. Um, <clears throat> uh, I also like to, I would just like to thank my family, um, parents, grandparents, uh, siblings for um, all the traveling uh, to AAU games to and from the airport um, to get me in the position I am today. Uh, so I just want to say thank you guys. Um, next, I would like to thank my coaching staff. Um, I'll, I'll tell you guys a funny story. When we were at Ole Miss, um, I messed up a, a switch in transition, and um, Val and EK both looked at me and, like, I'm not going to tell you what they said, but uh, they started going at me pretty hard. And uh, I just looked at them like, what are you, like, what are you talking about? But um, those guys are great. Um, Coach Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> So they've just been great um, helping me um, to develop into the player that I am today. And um, I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you guys for that. Um, next, I would like to thank our training staff, uh, MJ and uh, Ralph Reef. Um, those guys have uh, put countless hours in um, just with me personally. Um, 
whenever I go down, Ralph and MJ are trying to get me back, whether it's knees, um, ankles. Uh, sometimes I'm in, in the training room with Ralph at like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning just trying to get better. And so I just uh, appreciate you guys for um, helping me to uh, be better. Um, like Henry said, uh, I'd like to take, uh, thank uh, Ms. Sonia and Molly because um, I definitely wouldn't have been here. Uh, if it wasn't for Ms. Uh, Ms. Sonia, she almost uh, killed me in my freshman year, but we're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> Uh, next, I'd like to thank my girlfriend, uh, Michelle Weaver. Um, she, she's um, done a lot of things for me. Uh, she'll come in and uh, help me get shots up. She'll rebound uh, whatever I ask. She helps me do it. And I just want to tell you, um, I appreciate you for that. Uh, next, I would like to thank uh, our student section and our fans, because you guys are amazing. <laughs> um, it's never a dull moment um, in Hinkle Fieldhouse when we have a game. You guys are always cheering. Um, you'll definitely let us know uh, if we need to pick it up uh, defensively. <laughs> so uh, I just thank you guys. Uh, thank you for all, you know, the the um, celebrations you guys do. I mean, it's great, and it's uh, been a great atmosphere uh, these past four years. And um, lastly, I would just like to thank everyone for all they do. And um, it's really been uh, a very special place uh, for me. Wait, I meant, I'm sorry. One last thing, one last thing. I'd like to thank my teammates. Uh, <laughs> I just want to thank you guys uh, for buying in to the system. I mean, we wouldn't be here if, everyone, if every single one of you guys didn't buy in. I mean, the times we have on and off the court, uh, they're great. I just want to thank you. Uh, like Sean said, we still got a lot of basketball to play, but um, thank you guys. And um, finally, last thing, quick story. Uh, whenever, <laughs> whenever I go home, um, back to Winder, Everyone asks me, like, did you really have to go all the way up to Butler, like, to play basketball? And I always tell them, like, if you could go there and play and be around the people that I'm always around uh, for these past four years, you would, you would have chose the same place. So I just want to thank you guys. <laughs> KB3 out. <laughs>